Hello, and welcome to my first ever figure review. Now, as you can see, it's Jack from Torchwood. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll start off with the detail. The detail is very like Jack. Looks very nice. The eyes, yeah, they look a bit weird, but yeah, still really nice. The hair is really good. If you look at the back of his head, that is like perfect to how Jack's head sculpt is. So yeah, um, yeah. So the face is quite good. The braces are really nicely done. There's it's all coloured in there with the silver bits and silver buckle there, there and there, which is really nice. Um, the buttons are all done. I don't know if they're supposed to be white, but it's still nice that they've done that. The shirt's nice blue. Probably can't see it. it looks probably looks a bit white to you, but it's actually light blue. Yeah. The belt, yeah, it's nice. The little holes there. Yeah, this was really nice. The gun holster, much more detailed than character options version. There's a little buckle there, and all the hole there. Character options one is just a little triangle block, but yeah, this one's all got creases. It's really nice, and the trousers got some um, like creases in, look nice and lifelike. The watch. It's actually got a time on it. This is three o'clock or quarter past twelve. You can't really tell, but yeah, that's really nice because all the strap is actually sculpted. If you see there, same with the vortex manipulator. It's all sculpted perfectly. All the straps are done in, and it's painted. You can see there. Like, it just looks really brilliant and really lifelike. Um, now, Jack's shoes are done really well. All the flaps are done, the little holes, the shoelaces, it's just brilliant, brilliantly done. And then it goes from brown to a really dark brown. Very like the trousers colour. And there's holes in the feet for the plinth. So yeah. And same with the back. It's just done just as good. All the colour there. Now, what is this? If you know, post me a comment because I have no idea what this is supposed to be. But yeah. It's all creases there. Make it look nice and lifelike. There's a trademark there, but... It doesn't really matter. Don't need to know that. So yeah, now the articulation. Now you can do a 360 on the head. I'm not going to do that because I don't want the paint to come off there. <coughs> and the arms can do a 360 on both. Mine are a bit stiff. You can hear. At the elbows, he's got articulation. Now the hands are actually on a little ball joint which is nice you can do a 360 at the waist yeah. you can sit down quite good so yeah there's Jack now that is really good but now I'll do what he comes with and this gun is really really nice Oh, revolver, if you want to be precise. Yeah, fortunately, on my one, this bit is really straight because I watched a couple of other people's. They said it was bent up like that where it was in the packaging. But yeah, if you look closely, you can see all the little indents there. And there, it just looks brilliantly done. You 
can see all the detail. It's fantastic. It's pretty much the same on the other side. So yeah, now I'll do the plinth. Then it should come with it. Now this plinth is really nice that you cut that you get this with it. So I can actually have it on a shelf and it won't fall over. This bit is all sculpted in the tea. Touch with tea. Sculpted in, it's not just painted. So that must have taken a lot of time for this. Some trademark logos and some crap there. It's a nice shape and yeah, that's pretty much it for my first ever review. Now, I'll, um, next time I will be reviewing this Gwen figure that I also got when I bought Jack. So yeah, I'd give this figure a 10 out of 10 because it is brilliant in every way so yeah that's my first ever review over and done with so thanks for watching